Good day. Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board PCAB, has introduced an easier way to apply new regular license. This video will guide you on how to use the PCAB online facility in applying for your new regular license. To start new regular license application, applicants may sign up and register at pcab.construction.gov.ph by clicking the sign up link. Upon clicking the, the sign up link, applicants will be redirected to a new page. The applicants will be required to provide the following details requested. In signing up, the details of the firm shall be consistent with the name registered under DTI issued business name registration or SEC registration. The applicant should also ensure that the email address provided is valid and accessible. Once done, click the submit button. Confirmation email will be sent to the email address provided. Once sign up details are submitted, a verification email will be sent. Applicants shall provide the verification code sent and click Submit. Once the account has been verified, applicants may now proceed with the login page and provide requested login credentials. After providing the requested login credentials, the applicant will be redirected to a new web page, reflecting the new home page. To apply for new regular license, select the regular license new on the menu tab and click New Regular License. Upon clicking, the applicant will be redirected to the new regular license application homepage. The homepage contains contact information and reference materials. To start, click new regular license application. If the applicant has ongoing online license renewal application, the applicant may simply select switch application. Upon clicking new license application, the applicant may now fill up the general information sheet. The applicant should make sure that the email provided is valid since updates and messages will also be coursed through the email provided. Complementary documents for upload would depend on the type of the firm. If the firm is sole proprietorship, applicants will be requested to provide and upload a copy of their DTI business name registration. On the other hand, if the applicant is corporation, a copy of SEC registration will be requested for upload. Portion of the general information seeks for the applicant's intention to register for government projects. If the applicant wishes to be registered for government projects, applicant shall supplement the information required. The applicant may select as many as applicable kinds of project. Upon completing the necessary details requested, the applicant may now click the submit button. The applicant will be redirected to the homepage wherein a progress tracker is reflected on the dashboard. The applicant may now proceed with Financial Information tab by selecting the Financial Information link or at the Menu tab. In the Financial Information tab, the applicant should continue to provide the requested information and must upload supplementary documents such as a Accomplished Schedule of Receivables. Note, the Schedule of Receivables template can be downloaded by clicking link provided. Applicants should also submit a consolidated copy of the following. For old companies, audited financial statement, year end. For newly established companies, audited financial statement, as interim. Note, all shall be consolidated into one file only. Once complete, the applicant may now click submit button to save changes. The applicant will be redirected to the homepage again reflecting updates under the progress tracker. The applicant may now proceed with providing details on its authorized managing officer AMO by clicking the AMO link or at the menu tab. In the AMO tab, the applicant will be requested to provide the necessary information and details. This is section is divided into three segments. The first part requires the personal details of the AMO, employment details and educational background. The second part requires completing the table of AMO's statement of construction experience. The applicant may add as many items as applicable. The third part requires details on AMO seminars attended. The applicant must fill in the table below and upload supplementary copies of identification photo, certificate of completion of 40-hour construction safety and health seminar. Once completed, the applicant may now click the submit button. The applicant will be redirected to the homepage again reflecting updates under the progress tracker. The applicant may now proceed with providing details on its sustaining technical employee STE by clicking the STE link or at the menu tab. In the STE tab, the applicant shall provide the information requested. Likewise, this portion is segmented to three parts. In the first part, personal details of the STE will be requested. 
Make sure that contact details provided must be valid, since updates and messages will be coursed through the contact information provided. The second part requires for the STE's details on PRC license, educational background and employment. The third part requires completing the table of STE's statement of construction experience. The applicant may add as many items as applicable. Once completed, the applicant shall provide supplementary requirements for upload including copies of identification photo, PRC ID, and certificate of completion of 40-hour construction safety and health seminar, KOSH. The applicant shall also schedule an interview by sending an email to pcabsteappearance at gmail.com and copy the concerned parties. The applicant may add as many STE as applicable. Please take note that applicants for trade licenses or category trade or E do not need to fill out the STE tab of the application. After completing the list of STE, the applicant may now proceed to the homepage and check its updated progress tracker. The applicant may now proceed with completing the Affidavit tab by selecting the Affidavit link or at the Menu tab. In the Affidavit tab, the applicant must download and accomplish the Affidavit template. Click link to download the template. Once completed the applicant shall upload the signed and duly accomplished copy by clicking upload and attaching the document then click the submit button. Once done, the applicant will be redirected the home page and check its updated progress tracker. The applicant may now proceed with payment. Upon clicking, the applicant will be directed to the payments page. The payment page reflects the summary of payment details and payment option channels. The applicant has an option to pay through PayMaya e-wallet, debit, credit card and other existing payment options like Land Bank Link Biz Portal and DTI CIAP Windows in the regional offices of DTI. Note that each payment channel has corresponding convenience fee. Before paying and proceeding with payment options, please double check the payment details including company name, license category applied for are correct and consistent. In paying with PayMaya e-wallet, the applicant shall double click the PayMaya logo, the applicant will be redirected to PayMaya payments page, check the order summary, once confirmed, click on the QR and e-wallets. A new pop-up window will appear and then proceed with paying by either by scanning the QR provided or logging into your PayMaya account. Once done, and successful payment the applicant will be redirected back to the portal. In paying with debit, credit card, the applicant shall double-click the PayMaya logo. The applicant will be redirected to PayMaya payments page. Check the order summary. Once confirmed, provide the necessary card details. Once done, and successful payment the applicant will be redirected back to the portal. In paying with other options, the applicant shall double-click Other. Applicants will be redirected to a new page. Applicants may follow the detailed steps indicated in the payment options link. Applicants are requested to attach and upload a copy of the receipt. For applicants whose authorized representative is different from the authorized managing officer, AMA, shall proceed to the, the representative page and provide the necessary information requested. Once completed, click submit. Once payment of application and all requirements have been accomplished, a submit application button will appear. Before clicking the button, the applicant should review all information provided and as well as all supporting documents provided. Applicants are given 24 hours to edit his application. Once this period has lapsed, editing access to the application expires, and the processing by PCAB starts. Status of application may be tracked through the applicant's account portal. And that's it. You can